Okay, so I bought this tailgate assist uh, shock absorber um, to install on my tailgate. And it goes on the driver's side. And it will go right about here. And uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. And I think it was like 12 to 15 bucks. So it wasn't much. But we have the uh, parts here. Um, we've got this thing that we're going to put in this hole here. And uh, this, this uh, sets a certain way. <clears throat> so you have to be sure. I think this is the most important uh, part. Everything else is pretty easy. Which this is pretty easy too. Um, <clears throat> and it's got this little... Uh, set tool I guess they, they call it um, but this thing screws off and uh, so we're going to put this through that hole you'll probably need a rubber mallet just to knock it in um, and then this this will screw in there and then the uh, the directions say that you want this little nut here um, from this washer to the head of this Allen wrench, Allen head, uh, it needs to be three quarters of an inch. Um, so I got to back it off a little bit, but I'll do that when I once I get this put in, and uh, it's going to set this thing. This thing's going to compress as you tighten it up. Um, that's probably the most important thing that you don't over tighten this because uh, it'll mess it up. The directions say to uh, you want to do uh, not exactly nine 360 degree turns. So what I'll probably do is mark this nut so that I can keep track as I'm turning it uh, to turn it nine full full times to get exactly where I need it to be on that. So once I get that done, then I have this other piece that's going to go up here. I'll have to take this off and then uh, mount that there so that one part of the shock absorber is going to connect here and then the other part is going to connect to this once I get that in there this will screw into that and then uh, we'll be almost done at that point Alright, so now that I got this piece tapped in there, I just use my hammer to tap it in. It's pretty loose. It's going to be that way. So we're going to insert this and it's going to catch the thread and we'll tighten it up a little bit. And then what we want to be is from this washer to the top of that Allen head, Allen nut is three quarters of an inch. So that's where we want to be according to the directions. And then what we'll do now is we'll uh, use an M5 uh, Allen head and then a 10 millimeter uh, open ended wrench, wrench for this nut. And I'll mark it because the directions uh, explicitly say that you only turn nine full turns. So you need to keep track of that so that uh, you don't over tighten it because uh, it could mess up the uh, the thing, the shaft inside there. Um, so I'm going to do that now. Alright, so now I'm going to tighten this thing nine full turns using the wrench. One, this is going to take a few minutes here. That's two. So I'll do it the rest of the way and then we'll move on to the next one.
All right, so now that I have it tightened, I did nine complete 360 full rotations. I'm going to back this off. And the instructions do say that if this binding nut is still loose, you can do an additional one to two turns. Probably do one, then check it, and then do another. But uh, you can see this thing is tight, so I'm good to go there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this in to that. It does say use Loctite. Um, on it so help keep it from uh, coming loose you're just gonna tighten that pretty snug and then that uh, that part's done and then we'll move on to the next step which is going to be up here I'm going to undo this uh, hex bolt and remove this so that I can uh, install this And it does give you a tool that you can use, but uh, I'm going to use my uh, ratchet because it'll be a little quicker and probably less uh, irritating than using that thing. I'll just prop this thing up a little bit with my leg to uh, be able to pull this out. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. I'll take this off the rest of the way. I said it before, this is going on a uh, Ram 1500. I'm sure they make them for all sorts of trucks too. But this is just going to go basically in place like that. I'm just going to put this back. Again, they say you can use a uh, Loctite on it. Now, we can go ahead and uh, pop this bad boy on. It does say the uh, larger end goes up at the top. done. Now another thing it says to do is that we need to take this off. You can either uh, use a punch and flatten this out or you can just take this off and take the uh, take that washer piece. It's a, a limiter or something uh, 
but uh, you can take that off if you want or you can just flatten it out the way it is and then there's another piece here that uh, we're going to measure down three and a half inches from the top here and then we're going to clamp this on with a pair of pliers